What's going on, everybody? This is Matt with Hitman Sports Break. We're here for our debut episode of Hitman Sports Talk. We're sitting here with me, Sean, and Tommy. If you guys want to introduce what? yourself. What's going on? How's it going? It's Tommy. This is Sean. Let's do it. Yeah. And today oh. we're going to be talking about um, our 24-hour live stream on whatnot, our upcoming eBay breaks uh, that are actually tomorrow, and then some new releases for the week, and our, we'll end it with a little bit of football talk. That's right. So... Yeah, so first up, we have Black Friday coming up. Um, on Black Friday, Whatnot's being awesome enough to charge no fees. So we're going to be able to offer everything for pretty much about you know, 10 10% off. The 13% fees are just wiped for the day. Uh, we have two double case break, breaks plans of Origins and Certified. Um, if anybody's looking for those teams, make sure you message us beforehand. I'll give you a price. And uh, definitely looking forward to it. Should be a lot of fun pulled out of that. And I uh, hope everybody stops by and grabs a team, jumps in. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's yep, be and then uh, in addition to that, starting this evening on eBay, we have some auctions ending for certified football and museum baseball case breaks. So if you guys are interested in either of those, be sure to check that out um, on our eBay page. It'll be, we'll be live on YouTube with that tomorrow morning then as there's, well. There's That'll some steals. Yeah, 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 definitely some steals. Check Those are the fun breaks. This is actually the second half of the case that we did on Monday, um, and... There wasn't much that came out of that, so no, no. So the second half should be yeah, hot. Expect the second half to be uh, fire. Pretty damn nice, anyway. <laughs> oh yeah. So, in addition to that, guys, the new releases coming out this week. Well, one of them is Museum, like we just talked about, Museum Baseball. Always a solid product for the uh, price point. Got some very nice uh, RPAs in there. Um, you got the gold frame cards, and what else do we got here? This year they have uh, two different um, new case hits. We got the uh, Jumbo Autograph Relic card, of course, like I said, the frame card, and then I thought there was something else here that I was looking at earlier. Oh, the Archival Autographs, but that's not new. But yeah, that's the uh, Museum Baseball uh, release. Plus an awesome rookie class. I mean, yeah. I this mean, this yeah. year's rookie class, you can't you got Adley Rushman. I mean, it's just the, the list goes on and on. Court, I mean, it's awesome. Yeah, that's yep. sick. And then, of course, we have the first... Uh, I think this is the first official NBA uh, licensed card of Wembayana with uh, Hoops releasing. So we've had some of the college products from that already, but I don't think there's been anything in his NFL jersey besides from, so. or not NFL, NBA. NBA. NBA jersey. Um, it's all been collegiate stuff mm -hmm. or just like a generic whatever, you know. Yeah, so huge chases. mania. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, we don't have his autographs in the hoops, but just imagine, you know, the parallels and the yeah, case the hits. Yeah, the, exactly, the case hits. Um, it's something we're really looking forward to. Yeah, I mean, especially exactly. if you're looking to chase what looks like, you know, the next generational talent, basically that there is in basketball since LeBron. They're calling so, him the biggest prospect ever. That's so. what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, up to it so far. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a beast. Oh my God! I mean, just some of the games he's played already. Seven four dribbles like a point guard. Right. Yeah, seven the four threes, three. the threes he makes. Like that's it's sick. Oh, it's insane. And then we also have the National Treasures Collegiate Football that's mm -hmm. releasing. That maybe not you know, might not be top tier on everybody's list, but you do get some nice patch cards in there. You do, it's very nice RPAs. It's just that they're in their uh collegiate College uniforms. uniforms. Yeah. Um plus you got the Arch Manning chase. I love that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Caleb's nice. in there too, I believe. Um, yeah, not hundred percent but I'm pretty sure Caleb's pretty sure. In, yeah. So we'll also have that available if anybody wants personal breaks of that or anything on the Whatnot stream on Friday. Or if you're interested, just shoot us a message. Um, so I guess to, to end this, we're just going to go over uh, just a little bit of brief review of the football week. And then we'll give you our, what, I, what do you think, uh, who will win a few of the games coming up yeah, our picks. this week. Just so we think, you know, nothing serious yeah. about it, but... Yeah, last, next just week will be a little bit more fun because we'll be able to compare what we picked. Yeah, we're going exactly. to keep a running record for the rest of the season. Yeah, so uh, first up this week is Jacksonville at Houston. Hmm. We'll start with Matt. What do you think? Well, I mean, it's it, to me, it's a it's a not necessarily a pick game, but it's going to be very close. I think I'm going to give the edge to Jacksonville, um, even though it's in Houston. I just think that they'll they'll be able to pull it out at the end, but it, it's going to be a close game. But my pick for that one's uh, Jacksonville. Yeah, it's. I'm going to go with Houston here. It's two explosive offenses for sure. I'm going to take the home team here just because that just seems like the, the right pick. C.J. Stroud's been absolutely on fire, and I feel like he's finally taking huge, huge risks down the field. And for a rookie quarterback, I mean, what else can you really what, – what else can you look for? Yeah, I'm going to take uh, Houston as well. I think uh, 
between D'Amico Ryan, C.J. Stroud, Will Anderson, and Tank Dell. I think they've uh, brought a lot of energy back to Houston. And for a city that hasn't had an identity for the last few years with all the crap that was going on there, I think uh, definitely has turned things around. And you can't cover Tank Dell right now. Dude's a beast. Yeah. I, I like Houston. And it'd be hard for me not to say it's a toss-up game, though. I it is a toss-up. It's a, for the division. Looks really good, and yeah. that offense yeah. is explosive. I mean, Calvin Ridley, Christian Kirk, yeah, Evan it's... Ingram, everybody just seems to be going. And then Zay Jones, you had a little bit of a reserve yeah, service yeah, as well. So it's going to be a good one. Uh, oh, absolutely. When that offense is healthy, they look good. And Etienne, you can't say enough of that. Yeah. I mean, Battle for AFC South. He's first been place. great. Yeah. Uh, next game is Pittsburgh at Cincinnati. So I'm a, as a Steelers fan, I can't pick against the Steelers, but. You know, the way we've looked the last, <laughs> well, this whole season has just been atrocious on offense. But they just got rid of uh, Matt Canada today, so we'll see what, how that changes the offense, hopefully for the better. Uh, I'm going to take them a slight edge over the Bengals, but we should be able to pull off that road victory with our defense, considering Joe Burrow just went down for the season. You know, I don't, I'm not really confident in Jake Browning, so huh. I'm going with Pittsburgh on that one. I'm also going to go with the Steelers. I think that getting rid of Canada hopefully brings back a little bit of energy to that offense. Pickett probably hopefully looks to look a little bit more downfield in the game. Finds Pickens, maybe. They have a big big game together. I'm hoping. Plus, I just, I, I'm not looking forward to watching the Bengals offense. Which is what yeah. Browning, unfortunately. Yeah. It just kind of is what it is. Um, so, I'm taking Steelers there. Yeah, I'm going to have to follow suit and take the Steelers as well. I just, I don't have any confidence in Jake Browning. I mean... I have to give Pickett the slight edge error over Browning. At the defense, obviously, Steelers is better than the Bengals. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much to say about that game. I think it's going to be a 13-10 kind of game. And, uh, all right, we'll go right into Tampa and Indy. Of course, I'm a Colts fan, so more than likely I won't go against my team. But I'm going to take the Colts in this one. I know uh, Shaquille Leonard just got cut, well, waived by the Colts, so he's gone. But I have no faith in Baker Mayfield, and Tampa just has no running game. i got to give the Colts the edge at home, and I'm going to take Indy in that one. I think Minshew Mania shows up, and if he plays turnover free, I think they can win that game by three. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to agree there. I think the, uh, the Colts should take that one. Uh, a lot of these games we've been talking about so far, I think they're all going to be close, but... Mm -hmm. This one, I think, might be a field goal at the end. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, I'm going to give the edge to the uh, the home team there for mainly a lot of the reasons that Sean just talked about. He would know a little bit better than me since he's a Colts fan. But, uh, yeah, I, I have confidence in the Colts this week. Yeah. And I'm going to take a Baker blowout. Uh, Whoa, uh, devil's <laughs> advocate here. We'll have to see. I mean, I think, think Baker's been super up and down this season. For some reason, I just feel like he blows up this game. Rashad White might have a big yard receiving out of the backfield. Maybe a couple touchdowns for Mike Evans. We'll see. I, I, I'm going to take the Buccaneers. Maybe just to be different, but also th that offense can be up and down. So we'll take them this week. Mm -hmm. uh, then the next matchup we got is the Buffalo at Philadelphia. Mm. It's a big game. Uh, you know, at the beginning of the season, I think that I probably might have had a different feeling about this game. Um, but I'm going to take Philadelphia. I, I, Philadelphia has just been hot on both sides of the ball. Uh, you know, for... For the, for the most sake, they're the best team in the NFL this year. So I'm going to take Philadelphia and ride the hot team. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Philadelphia as well. I don't, we don't know what version of Josh Allen we're going to get. And if we get the Josh Allen, that can be great. And throw for 340 yards and three touchdowns, no picks, and like 40 yards rushing, I think they can beat Philadelphia. But... I just don't think we're going to get that version of Josh Allen this year, and I'm going to have to go with Philadelphia too. Yeah, it's it, it should be you know potential game of the week matchup depending like we've been like you just said if Josh Allen, you know which Josh Allen shows up. But mm. I think uh, the fact that it's in Philly, I think they're going to take that one. Um, I honestly don't think it'll be that close. Well, it'll be close, but I don't think it's going to be like a field goal game. I I, I would think that the Eagles could probably win by like a touchdown there. Uh, and to take a quote from Michael Vick last night during the uh, Manning cast. He said they should just do the tush push the whole way down the field because <laughs> nobody can stop it. So yeah. I think that's going to come into play. They're going to get a Jalen Hurts sneak touchdown towards the end of the game to seal the deal and I think they're going to take it. Yeah, yeah. I can definitely see that happening. Yep. It's, it's hard not to It's hard not to imagine in your head. Right? <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, it's just been so, not scripted, but so 
consistent. Yeah, I mean, I think it's only been stopped a handful of times, if that. But then what they say, like 52 out of 57 times yeah, it's just, going into the game last yeah, night? Yeah, yeah it's, and they it's, did it like six times last yeah. night. Absolutely ridiculous. But right. then we're going to move on to the final The final game we're talking about here is the uh, Colts and the – or not the Colts, my bad. The Ravens and the Chargers. Um, I personally think that Baltimore will probably win that by 10 points. That's just my guess. But you never know uh, with with these games. But the Ravens offense has been been pretty, pretty consistent most of the season. They've taken a few games off, but I think they're going to bounce back um, and, and have a big game this week here. So I'm taking the, the Ravens. Yeah, and, and I, I, this is at – LA. I'm a huge Ravens fan, so I'm definitely not going to say the Chargers here. But again, if you ask me this at the beginning of the season with a healthy Mike Williams, healthy Josh Palmer, healthy even, you know, Gerald Everett, this might be a different thing, but that Chargers offense is kind of hurting right now, and it's going to be a huge game for Quentin Johnston, Darius Davis, both rookie wide receivers for the Chargers. Uh, but I'm going to take the Ravens here in, in pretty pretty solid fashion. I think the Ravens have another blowout win here. They seem to step up to the plate this year when they play, play the, the harder teams, so... Yeah, I'm uh, probably going to have to follow suit and take the Ravens as well. I think the Chargers are banged up on defense. Uh, losing Boza is definitely going to hurt. And, yeah, I just I feel yeah, the Ravens are just going to. Yeah, they are banged up. I just feel the Ravens are going to do what the Ravens do. And I just don't think the head coaching is up to par with the Chargers. And I think that's going to come into play too because the guy sucks. <laughs> He's a terrible head coach. Yeah, but yeah, um, he'll probably be poor there. Herbert. I think they're wasting his early years. But yeah, uh, yeah I'm going to go with the Ravens on that one. And you know, a game we didn't talk about: Dolphins Jets. Dolphins Jets. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jets. a joke. Because yeah, we, yeah, exactly. That's we didn't talk game. about it because I think we might have to all swing the same direction. Even with that, well, we're not going to talk too much betting lines here. But yeah, minus eleven. Nope. Yeah, no. I'm still. I'm still. I'm just gonna go Dolphins. with the uh, the benching of Zach Wilson, yeah. the third string. The only thing that guy's ever gonna be remembered for is banging his mom's best friend yeah. and uh, <laughs> ending their friendship. So yeah. that's what he's got on his uh, Hall Mil- of Fame. Milfinator. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's yeah. what. He and got. he was Aaron Rodgers' backup for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. he just was just a little bit. And with that, guys, I think we're gonna wrap it up here for the first edition. Um, if if anybody that's listening to this right now isn't following us on any of our like all of our social medias, we'd appreciate if you guys do that. That's how you can. Uh, Keep up to date with all the breaks we're doing, Mm -hmm. any future podcasts. We look to do this every Tuesday, so this is episode one. Thank you guys for listening, and if you guys have any closing uh, remarks you want to give. Just check us out. Follow us on all of our social media. Uh, We'll get better with this each week. This is a new project we decided to do, and that's all for me. If you listen to the end, we appreciate it. Thank you. I'll give you $10 whatnot credit if you're listening still. Yep. Thanks.